A new construction project along the Deschutes River could bring a major change to Drake Park. Mm -hmm. Matthew Draxon tells us a fence could be added, drawing mixed reaction from locals. Drake Park is one of Ben's most iconic places known for its scenic beauty and history. But some are concerned the proposed installation of a fence along the Deschutes River may disrupt its classic charm. And I think we need to let nature do its thing. I think Bend is known for that. I don't think we should do a fence. I'm, I'm against fences. It wouldn't be that big a deal, but I think it's fine the way it is. <laughs> Walking along the Deschutes River Trail here in Drake Park may look a little different in the future. Ben Parks and Rec is proposing to replace this droopy fence with a wooden fence that has wire mesh. The goal is to keep geese out of the park. What we've seen is the majority of geese are entering the park by just floating up to the riverbank and then walking into the park, uh, making it really easy for them. Uh, the intent of this fence is to prevent them from being able to access the banks as easily. The landscape architect for the project says the increase in fecal matter from the geese is causing health concerns, especially with the recent avian flu outbreaks. I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> I do walk this regularly on my lunch break, so seeing like, you know, their feces all over isn't the best. I can't go around it. We walk my dog along this path. We just know better to work around it. Environmental protection is another reason for the proposed fence. Um, we've seen impacts to the, the park lawn itself from the geese or the numbers of geese that are getting on it, um, both from eating the grass and from pooping on it and the piles of poop that are building up on it. The fence would have two cedar rails and welded wire mesh. A gap of a few inches would allow muskrats and beavers to navigate the barrier. I'm getting an age that I can't stand up very long, so Anytime you put a fence up, I don't care what how transparent you tried to make it, it still inhibits anybody that's sitting on the ground or inhibits their view of um, the beautiful pond. The fence would stretch from Mirror Pond all the way to the river access ramp in Drake Park, but it will not cut off any designated, designated river access points. Hmm. Now, this is just a proposal. What are the next steps? Yeah. Well, once uh, city planners do approve it, or if they approve it, then uh, Ben Parks and Rec will develop a timeline. Great. Thanks, right. Matthew. Yeah, thank you.